we're at Shavers Creek Environmental Center at the Raptor Center of Penn State, and this is a barred owl that Janet is holding while we listen to the eagle scream in the background. The barred owl is, is native to the east, named for the bars on it, and this is an owl that has sort of figured out people. It can live in the edge of suburbia. It still needs nature, but it can put up with some of us. It has a very close cousin who lives in the Pacific Northwest, the northern spotted owl, that has not figured out people. That northern spotted owl needs vast tracts of undisturbed old growth forest to survive. When we cut that into islands, we log away some of it and make little islands, this one actually will replace the northern spotted owl. And by disturbing things, we're starting to get rid of a species. Jedediah Woe's a spotted owl Nesting in an old growth tree Needed lots of forest for to find his food But we lost it in the islands, you see So we lost his family Singing small, supports so you Large can grow more If we isolate our national park Ecosystems more productive and stable. It warns us when things are going wrong. May have new foods that we can use on the table and medicines to help us along. Cures to keep us singing our song. Now we use half of all that's here and we may double and each one more. If we don't find a better way, the outcome is clear. Lots of species going out of the So much we can do. Be smarter at feeding and fueling our lives. Connect the parks for the wild things. We'll really please our grandkids too. For extinction is the end. Or we can leave them living free. So many wise things we can do, my friend. For them and for you and me. For bio divers. Jeremiah is a bullfrog, he's a good friend of mine. Hope that our grandkids, grandkids know his, unless we're smart, it's the end of the line. But if we're smart, we can make it fine, singing joy to the world. All the boys and girls, now there's room for the fishes. 